vestibular ocular reflex exercise, also known as VOR1 or gaze stabilization, is one of the best things you can do to help with your vertigo and to prevent incidents of dizziness in the future. The inner ear is just like a muscle, and by following the exercise I'm going to show you in this video, you can prevent incidents of dizziness with motion activities in the future. The basics of this exercise are that we need a target, and we're gonna have that target about arm's length away. You can also place it on a wall so your arms are free and you don't get fatigued in your shoulder. But once you have that an arm's length away at eye level, you're going to turn your head back and forth 30 degrees each direction, which is about this far. Try to make sure that you're even in both directions. Another reason I like to put it on the wall is that when my arm is elevated, I don't turn as far to that side because of muscle activation. Your goal is to start between 24 and 48 beats per minute. I use my Metro timer. There's a ton of different metronome apps. This is free. I'm gonna set it to 36 beats per minute. And then each beep is going to be a turn in one direction. I'm keeping my eyes on the target. The same thing would apply when we switch and do up and down with the head, eye on the target. The beep coincides with movement in one direction, either up or down, whichever gives you more trouble. You can keep track of this in terms of repetitions or you can set a timer. If you're gonna do repetitions, start with 10 and then try to build to 15 and then try to build to 20 repetitions all the way up to 30. If you want to start with time, you can start with 30 seconds. If you can tolerate that, continue to build until you can do it for one minute. Your goal is to repeat that three times per day. I would start off with just one set per session. The faster you can go with this exercise, the more it's going to work your inner ear, challenge it, and ultimately make it stronger. Now, the things we want to focus on are never causing symptoms, getting dizzy, and we want to make sure we can always focus on a clear target. As soon as that X in this case, as soon as that target gets blurry or double, we stop the exercise and we're going to need to decrease our speed. Once you've done it three times a day at one set in each group, then you can try to increase to two sets and then later three sets once you've been able to get through all of those at a given speed without producing symptoms. How far you move your head should stay about 30 degrees. There's not a real benefit to increasing how far you move your head, and it's likely to just irritate your condition. The thing that's gonna get you stronger is going faster. There's some research that's been done on this. I have a study linked in the details where you can see that doing a increased speed of VOR training reduced symptoms in 95% of participants. Now, if you suffer with migraines or you're recovering from a concussion, this is gonna take you much longer. You're gonna to wanna to keep it to one set. Try not to do as many sets and see if you can just build the time in your set. The research has shown that that's more effective in that subgroup of patients. To watch a video on Epley Maneuver and positional vertigo, click down here. Subscribe to the channel, click over here. If you wanna improve, you gotta move.